Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about mounts and more specifically this is going to be a mount guide for the Scrappy World Snail which is a brand new mount in Dragonflight which you can get in about two to four hours depending on you know how good you are at farming. But before we jump into the mount guide just want to shout out my Twitch twitch.tv slash mrgm. You're going to see me streaming Dragonflight, Wrath Itch King Classic, any sort of World of Warcraft over on twitch.tv slash mrgm every single day. Okay so the Scrappy World Snail this is one of the brand new mounts of Dragonflight and it is is pretty interesting to get. It's a bit of a grind, but it is definitely a little fun activity for you to do once you hit 70 and you just feel like getting a mount. Uh, so this is a snail mount, as mentioned. It's a lava snail. It looks absolutely awesome. Uh, obviously, the snail mount came in in Zeref Mortis, and now this is the lava version of this mount. And as mentioned, it's called the Scrappy World Snail. So let's talk about how you get this mount. So the prerequisite for this mount is to complete one of the side quests in the Waking Shore. This side quest line is called the Shadow of His Wings and to actually find this quest I used an add-on uh, called BTW Quest. This is created by Brini. It's a wonderful add-on for completionists. Uh, it has all the different expansions on it and it now has Dragonflight. It's very simple. You can just open up the add-on, click the zone, click the storyline and then it leaves a marker on the map where this quest line begins. Uh, and this is available on Curseforge which conveniently is also the sponsor of this video. So shout out to Curseforge for sponsoring this video. Uh, link is in the description below. So once you head to this location, there's four quests to do. Uh, pretty easy to do, wouldn't take you too long at all. Obviously once the quest line is done, you get a little pop-up and you can now start working towards your snail mount. Once you've completed that quest, you want to head over to the Obsidian Citadel in the Waking Shore in this area here and speak to Rathian or Sibelian. This is where you have to choose one uh, for the week. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but obviously you're going to choose Rathian. And once you choose Rathian you can now start obtaining key fragments and key framing. Now what you need to do with these is combine 30 key fragments and 3 key framing to create a restored obsidian key. Now these just dropped from the Jaradin NPCs in the Obsidian Citadel. Now this part I'm not 100% on because it was a little weird for me. Uh, so I hadn't handed in a obsidian key before so I only had the choice to hand it to Rathian. But once I handed it to Rathian I could hand it to everybody else. So if this is your first time doing it I believe the first key you have to give to Rathian and then once you get a second key you have to head over to a guy's the believer I think it's pronounced like that that's how I'm going to pronounce it it's probably wrong that's okay he is in this location here in the Wicking Shore and you can hand that in and he'll give you a Twilight Cache. Now inside this Twilight Cache is the most important item of all of this guide and that is the World Breaker membership. Now in my experience it was 100% drop chance but Wowhead is reporting that it's around about 30% uh, but again just you know if you don't get it just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Now once you get the World Breaker membership you want to click it and that will give you a debuff called World Breaker membership and this lasts two days. It also gives you a temporary title called The World Breaker. It's important to note here that if you die, you do lose that. So you have to do that whole section again, uh, getting the key fragments, getting the World Breaker membership, etc. So don't die. Very important. If you do die, it's not the end of the world. You can just go do it again. Now, once you have that debuff of the World Breaker, you can now obtain items called Magmotes. Magmotes are a currency uh, that we're going to use to purchase the Slumbering World Snail Shell. These, once again, do drop from the Jaradin. You're going to go back to that area and farm Jaradin NPCs. Now, one of the most efficient ways here is to do it in a group. If you go to the dungeon finder and just search keys of loyalty, uh, there's going to be a bunch of people farming this area uh, for this world quest, but it also just means that you can join them and you can go and kill a bunch of these NPCs, or you can find a group that are just specifically farming NPCs in the Obsidian Citadel. Either way, it's much easier in a group. There's a lot of elites. You don't want to die, as mentioned. So you just want to farm loads and loads of these magmotes. It varies from zero to three magmotes per NPC. Uh, the rares don't drop any. It doesn't seem either, which is upsetting, but obviously while while doing this you are going to be getting key fragments and key framing. It is important to keep creating obsidian keys and handing them into Ignis. That will actually give you a couple of magmotes as well so it's just another passive way of doing it. There's also a weekly quest to kill a dragon that's going to give you 25 magmotes uh, but the majority of your time here is going to be just mindlessly farming Jaradin in the Obsidian Citadel and it does take a while. It definitely definitely takes a while uh, to do so it's kind of one of those ones where you stick a stream on or Netflix or something like that and just farm Jaradin endlessly and try not to die uh, while doing so. Now you can get a second World Breaker membership in your bag. Uh, it is unique, so if you already have the buff, you can pick up another one. So if you do die, you can just do that instantly. And again, that's just obtained through handing in the Obsidian Key. And the total amount of Magmotes you want is 1,000. Yes, you want to get 1,000 Magmotes. When you finally get 1,000 Magmotes, you want to head to Dealer Vexil. 
Dealer Vexil is inside a cave at the location right here, and you'll be purchasing the Slumbering World Snail Shell from him, and that will give you the mount. So, bit of an interesting one, shout out to Wowhead for finding all this out, or whoever works at Wowhead, or however they found it out. Very, very interesting. I really, you know, it's so cool they add stuff like this. There's obviously a bunch of other mounts like this in Dragonflight, but yeah, this one's a cool one. So that is the guide for the Scrappy World Snail. If you have any advice on obtaining it or getting magmotes or anything like that, or if I missed anything, uh, please do let me know down below. Uh, but for the most part, it's relatively simple. It's a lot of farming and a really cool looking mount at the end of the day. So yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of this mount and if this guide helped you, be very much appreciated if you let me know. And of course, before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to our amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming in World of Warcraft, Dragonflight launch, it's been so much fun. We're actually farming this on stream as well, which has been moderately okay. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check me out on stream, guys, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.